Hello, this is Biz414. Welcome to Steam Bin, a new video series where I'm going to start checking out some of my many, 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 many Steam games. Kind of doing a little mini review of them. Uh, the first game I'm going to check out is Tiny Barbarian DX from Stark Whale Games. I've got only about 20 or so minutes logged into this game so far. But uh, really digging it. It's, uh, as you can see, really simple graphics. Uh, kind of old school Nintendo era graphics. And this is how the game starts out. It's kind of like, uh, like an endless mode, survival mode. You're not meant to like win here. It's just kind of fun to challenge yourself while you're waiting for the real game to start. I was going to try and parry that, like that. Uh, pretty cool game, though, so far. Um, really, really fun sprite-based graphics. Kind of takes me back to my childhood. Oh, getting more challenging. I'm going to die. There we go. Beautiful music. Great graphics. Uh, just great nostalgia factor. It comes in four episodes, two of which are out already, and they are free updates to the game. Each one is kind of like a game into itself uh, with different characters. Not, I think, I think the main character, this guy here on the tree, is still always the same, but uh, you have different enemies and whatnot that you fight and different backgrounds and environments, different music apparently. I've only checked out episode one so far, so uh, I'm going to get as far as I can, which probably won't be super far because like old school Nintendo games, this game is pretty ridiculously hard as you get into it. Um, but it still makes me smile. <laughs> so, but yeah, after I, I'm going to get as far as I can in episode one, and then I'll probably check out episode two. I'm curious. Alright. A little bit of easy platforming so far. Jumping over spikes. Oop. Getting bit by snakes. Pretty, pretty standard for a, for a beat em up. They call it a sword em up. Because you have a sword. Which makes sense. I love the animations. The sprites. Oh, check this out. Get pose. This muscle man. Yeah. Barbarian guy. Just hop along here. Get some turkey leg and get full life. Uh, I can see myself getting lost in this game for quite a while. I just love, I love, love, love the music. It's so fun. Got some spit cobras. Down an A makes you go through these little guys. And it's just a simple two button control system, just a jump and an attack, but uh, there is a combo system, I guess. I think it might be like direction based. I haven't figured out too much yet, but I'm guessing it's might maybe like, you know, dependent on the uh, you know direction you're, you're pushing your control stick, maybe you do different attacks, like this is up, this is just normal. But if you hold uh, forward, you do kind of a thrusting attack at the end. Instead of just the uh, one, two, three punch. Or slash, rather. Grab onto vines by pushing up. Again, pretty standard in this type of game. The control system and everything. It's, it's really, whoa, what 
was that? How did I do that? I want to know how I did that. I'm just like button mashing right now, <laughs> trying to figure out how to do that cool spinny thing. That was awesome. I don't want to play by these spikes too much. <laughs> You. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Alright, I don't want to get, I don't want to get dead here. I was doing really well. Hiya. Stupid eagle. I'm going to kill this stupid eagle. Now he doesn't want to come back. He's going to wait. He's going to wait till I'm like hanging from a vine or mid jump and can't do anything about it and then he'll come back. Yep, here he comes. Stupid eagle. Oh, there's two of them. And spikes. Whew. I wish those turkey legs gave me full health right about now. Oh, I gotta, can't go up that way. I gotta go up this way. Dodge spit. Oh! Jesus. Dodge spit. Dodge spit. Dodge spit. Woo! You get the elbow drop. Ooh. I haven't figured out how to tell when there's a secret like that. Like, none of the blocks don't seem to look terribly different. Elbow drop. Avoid you. Ah! Stupid eagles! When you kill eagles, you should get to eat them. I think. Oh, and you drop coins, you little gnomey person? Give me more. Oh! Well, at least I get to start there. I figured I was going to have to go all the way to the beginning. I wouldn't have been surprised in the least. Come back here. Alright, well I guess that's it for you. Alright. Gotta get way down into the bottom to jump up for that one. I wanna kill you. I want those coins. Alright, maybe maybe getting those coins is not wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it anyway. I'm a glutton. I need all the coins. All the turkey legs. And all of the dying. No! No! Alright. Come get some turkey. There. Alright. Platforming is getting a little more difficult now. I can't imagine trying to play this game without a controller. Oh! Oh! Back this way. Oh! Alright, come back down here. I'm waiting. Hence, you won't attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Alright. And, yeah, now this will be fun. Alright. Platforming skills. Pretty good at the platforming part, I feel. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the, uh, the combat is pretty fun, too. Yeah. Until you have the stupid eagles flying around at you.
Alrighty. This is the furthest I've gotten in this game. I'm starting to, uh... Starting... Sorry about the silence there. <laughs> I was concentrating, but, uh... I'm starting to experience some new enemy types. This is the first time I've ran across these two soldier guys. Which is neat. Uh, I like... I like... What I like about these games is, uh variation in the attacks and stuff. You know, you just kind of have to figure out the pattern of each of the different enemies to be successful. It's pretty fun. It's like the old, old, uh, you know, Mega Man and um, Castlevania type games that I grew up with. Oh! Yeah. See, and there I did that spinny thing again. I wish I knew how to do on command. Alright. Ooh. Boss battle. So I imagine I'm supposed to take out these cannons first. Pause there. Oh. It's cool that they've got a timer on the top screen because then I know how long I've been recording. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. got a ton of life. Woo. Double jump would be really nice right about now. Yeah! Checkpoint! New music! That's awesome! Jump over you. Get you from the back. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. Get those coins. I want them pennies, though. Yeah! I got them pennies! Let's get your pennies, too. So that, oh, come on, you. That, uh, spinny, jumpy, uh, that spinny, jumpy sword move that I was doing seems to be the, uh, like, it feels like it's jump and attack at the same time, but that doesn't seem to be it. I don't know. All right, I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode jump in and check out episode number two because I want to see what that's all about I thought I thought there was a breaking thing all right so I'm gonna do that quit to title adventure mode ruins of Zendu take a sip of my tea so I'm sleeping and the bikini-clad cave woman is waking me up. <laughs> All right. I see how this relationship is. All righty. So new backgrounds and new music. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh! Alright. Ah. Uh, this level is going to be really challenging on the platforming aspect, it seems. Because it um, looks like I'm uh, going to be scaling upward, so falling is going to be a constant damage. I mean, the other one had spikes. Oh! The other one had spikes falling, uh, jumping over spike pits all the time, which was equally, equally challenging for different reasons. So I just came over here just to get those pennies. Lost two ticks of health for no reason. I'm supposed to go up there, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. Yes, very, very challenging platforming in this one so far. No comment, comment, uh, combat at all. Just hardcore platforming action, which is cool. I like that as well. Yeah, spinny. Why can I not do the spinny? Spin, spin. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to fall to my doom again. All right, let's see if I can get to the first little boss in this one. Oh, that's new. Can I kill you? I can kill you. I can kill everything. checking. Just checking to see if it's one of them secret blocks. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna just ignore these guys, I think. Not waste time. Whoa! With the killing of them. And just kind of jump past them as if they are obstacles in my way. No, no! Ah, stupid eagles. Alrighty. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see where this is going. Alright. At least there's, like, unlimited lives. No, like, continues and stuff like that. You just always pick up where you left off, which is cool. I feel like you need it. In this game, it's pretty challenging. But again, super fun. Uh, again, and I, I can't stress enough. I'm an old man. This is, this is what I grew up with. So this is just taking me back to being like a 10-year-old kid again. That's why I love, love a lot of these indie games that are coming out lately. Because they really capture that, that feeling, that nostalgia from when I was a kid. Oh, that's nice of them at least to have a alternate way up. Stupid eagle. Double jump. Yeah. Oh. I suppose a double jump would probably make this game, like, way too easy. God forbid. Alright. Get higher up on the vine, but not too high, because then you'll hit your head on spikes. Of course. Saying hi -ya helps, I find. <laughs> Oops. Ooh. Accidentally paused it and caused myself death. Can I make that? I don't feel like I can make that. I've got to be able to make that. Come on. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. There we go. See? Hiya helped. Ooh. So we've got falling boulders and spitting snakes. Alright, gotta go down here. Sometimes you gotta go down to go up. Hiya. Oh, ooh. Did not see that one coming. 
<laughs> Alright. Yeah. This would be fun to attempt to do a speed run on sometime as well, I think. For people who are into doing speed runs. I don't know if I'm that guy. But for people who are. Oh! Come on. Gotta take breaks. Hiya! Hiya! Timing! Timing! Oh! Yeah! Woo! Alright. Kill this thing so I can just stand here and take my time. Whew! Alright, fines! No! I'm gonna have to go like this. Somehow. Alright, and I gotta be able to grab. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to, like, monkey climb my way down. The, all down along all those vines. Ooh, breakable blocks. Should be looking for those more often, but too focused on not getting hit by boulders while not hitting my head on spikes, while not getting sprayed by flowers, while not getting attacked by eagles and bees. There's always got to be bees. Can I go this way? Nope. Oh, you're just going to keep coming out of there, too, aren't you? All right. Stop it. Stop it! I don't want to play with you guys anymore. I want to just go. I don't want to be by you any more than you want me by you. But, you know. All right, now where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. No. I'm confused. I want to be over there, but I don't know how to get over there. I don't think I can long jump. B? Oh! I can ride the B! wonder if there's been other things I could ride and just didn't know about it. Oh, no, 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 no killing! I don't know how to control you though, B. Up. Go! Yah be yah! There we go. Hold the A button. Ooh, and down is the stinger. Okay. So holding the A button makes me fly. And then I can push down to go down. Joystick left and right. If you let go of the A button, you drop pretty rapidly. It's kind of like a Flappy Birds type of flying mechanic. Now, if I dismount from you, yep, you'll try and kill me again. And you're dead. Hope I didn't need you anymore. I think I needed him still. Nope, there we go. Yeah, it's telling me to get off now anyway. In the, in the cave drawings. Yep, that is a hard jump to make. Oh, and then there's another bee. Come here, bee. Nope. Come get some. Oh. Ah, come here. Brr. There we go. No! Why did I get off of him? I want to fly. Arr. No! Come back here, B. I also want the pennies. All right, screw you, B. I need the B to get the pennies. Oh, uh-oh. Come here, B. There we go. No! These stupid flowers. B. 
be. All right. Pennies. All right. Oh, bees can't bump into flowers. Those red flowers. So we got a flappy bird underneath of them. Yeah. Starting to get the hang of this, kinda. Ooh. I'm gonna go up here and kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I will dismount. Up and jump is dismount. Thanks for your help, B. Go down and get these pennies. I have to have the pennies. I've got to say, this episode two much harder so far than episode one. Still fun, don't get me wrong. Hard does not equal not fun. Somehow. Whoa, come back here, B. Oh, come back here, B. All right. Gotta, gotta hoover around and avoid those things. Come here, B. No, up, up. Come here, B. Quit running away, B. Oh, and I can still use my sword while well, whilst on the B. That's awesome. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Life just got a lot easier, I think. Dum dum. Me, not the flower. Flowers too. They're stupid. Come here, B. No, I have no desire to try and fly through there. I'm just gonna go this way. No! You're a friend. We're friends. We're both bees. Alright. Bye. I'm just gonna buy I'm just gonna fly away from you. I don't wanna fight you. We should be friends. Be brothers. Fine. You wanna be friends? We'll be enemies then. Fine too. Yeah. No. You stupid, stupid bees. Go, just go up. Just avoid the other bees. Stupid bees. I hate you. I hate you, bees. All right. I don't think that we're gonna make it to a boss in the time that I was trying to allot to this. Give it one more go to get through this place with the boulders. I hate the boulders. I hate the bees. I love the game. No. No. Alright. Quit the title. Yes. Super fun game. Let's try out versus the horde. Just uh just to cap it off. Yeah, so it's just basically what you start the game as. Which is what I expected. So yeah. Final review of this is that it's super fun. If you if you grew up with an NES so basically, if you're, you know, 30 or above, or a hipster into old school gaming, um, check it out. It's definitely worth it. I picked it up on a Steam sale for half off, so it was only 5 bucks. But even at the regular price of 10 bucks, it's still a great 
uh, you know, still a great uh, discount game compared to, you know, AAA titles of 60 bucks anyway. Another one of the great benefits of playing indie games. I had to go do that spinny thing again. We still don't know how I'm doing that. I'm just button mashing and it happens. But yeah, super fun game. Great music, great graphics, great fun. Uh, I recommend it. I had a lot of fun playing it and I will be playing it more. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.